Hello gamers, Leo Lee here, back with another Final Fantasy 16 playthrough. We are on part 12. A little disclaimer, it is the 4th of July for me right now. So please, excuse me if you hear the fireworks. But like the true gamer I am, I'm sitting at home to play some video games. Anyways, with that out of the way, let's get this show on the road. And so it begins. Oi, I forgot what I was doing. Speak with Otto. Ooh, hello. Visiting hours are over, your lordship. Fine. Be that way, Jesus. Hi, Jill. I'll be all right, Clive. I just need some rest. Yes, ma'am. Treatment diary. Today, Clive visited the infirmary to have me dress a laceration on his left forearm. I cleaned and stitched the wound and instructed him to rest the arm so that it could heal. But not an hour later, he was leaving on another mission. This must be the hundredth time he's disobeyed my instructions. The next time he comes to me for treatment, I'm tying him to the bed. Ooh. Tying me to the bed, huh? Only Jill's allowed to do that. Uh, really, what was I gonna do? Was I gonna look for the griffin? I couldn't find this freaking griffin because I can't find this stupid Westgate. Port is solar day. Glorious gate. Useless gate. Because I cannot find the Westgate. Uh, let's talk to Otto. Is now a good time? <clears throat> it's not a bad one. How's Jill doing? Oh, she's been better. Ty is making sure she gets the rest she needs. Good. Any word on Kupka's movements? Vivian's doing what she can to join Trey. Oh, yeah. But she's feeding on scraps. I have a new Titan ability. We've sent owls out to the Coolest Breakers and our other friends in the West, asking them to keep their eyes peeled for anything unusual. No leads yet. But it's only a matter of time. Right. Let me know when you find something. There he is. All right, Clive. Who's this? Still busy saving the world. Mid. When did you get back? Mm, just now. What about your studies? Adjourned. Since Hugo Kupka invaded Rosaria. All the canvas in uproar. I like her hair. He's gone mad. He's turned rogue. It'll be us next. You try concentrating with all of that. All right, all right. You win. I bet you the Japanese version, she has a really cute and bubbly while, voice. Most likely. Any road while I'm here, I was hoping you could do us a favor. Mid. You can't just expect me to. Please oblige her. And who are you? Oh. While we are busy tracking down Kupka, you should have a little time to spare. Professor! Now there's a face I haven't seen in a while. Shouldn't you have it buried in a dusty old tome? <laughs> Professor! I don't know what I'm touching that one more! pricked my ears. <laughs> As ever, your exuberance is a breath of fresh air. <laughs> which successfully scattered the I bet you, I, I bet you anything, that's how she sounds in the Japanese dub. As a compliment. Well, Clive, you heard the professor. So, I'll meet you in the storeroom when you're done. Wait, hold on. Janet! <laughs> Breath of fresh air. Bloody tempest, more like. Oi, Otto, you got my gill. Huh? What are you all about? My fee for bringing Mid across. She said you were paying. That little... I can hear Moogle in the background. <laughs> the storeroom, was it? I wonder what Mid's plotting. Uh, where's over there? Okay. Wee, 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 wee. 
Uh, hold on. I had abilities. Yes. These. These ones. That one looks really good. Alright. Uh, I think... One of these was a parry. Oh, this is a parry. How do I... Oh, this is circle. Ooh, that's gonna be weird. Using circle to block. See, that, uh, there's gonna be another issue arises when you keep mixing up buttons like that to, to do, like, very different commands. Is when I'm switching between these, if I get too used to parrying with this, with pressing circle, I'm inevitably gonna end up, you know, accidentally doing this move, or this ta or Talon move, or this Blind Justice. I've already, you guys have already seen me accidentally do this one a lot. So that's uh, one one minor uh, critique I have with the combat mechanics. They should try to make it, you know, uh, more cohesive, right? Try to keep each button command to do, you know, dedicated to like, I don't know, I'm rambling. <laughs> I'm just I, I I just like it when there's a little more consistency between button presses. I don't like I don't like the buttons doing like vastly like really different things from each other. Okay, uh three 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 three. Well, let's just stick with those. Um, back on topic, like that, like a good example is Ghost of Tsushima. You have a bunch of different ghost weapons and a lot of different sword stances, but the button presses in general do the same things, even if you're switching between the stances. You took your time. I'm a busy man, mid. I'll get to the point then. I want to turn the room down there into a workshop like the one I had at Dad's place. Mid, you've only just come back. And? I've been thinking about it for a while. Dad said I had a knack for engineering. Told me everything he knew about it. Then sent me off to Canva to learn everything he didn't. That was his dream for me. A new the player has joined the party? To use for the good of the cause. But I'm helping no one stuck at school. I've studied enough. It's time I put my knack to work. I know that I can help the people here, and I want to do it. Well, well, well. If Sid could see you now, all right? I'll tell Otto you'll be staying. <laughs> I knew you'd say yes. Which is why I wrote up a list of jobs for you. For me? Who else? <sighs> what do you want me to do? First things first, I need equipment and materials to start making my own. There's the design to the stuff I need, and the stuff it needs smithing from. The other materials I can work myself. Just need a generous benefactor to lay them on for me. Apart from the wood, I'll need a carpenter for that, but I can just borrow yours. Is that everything? For now. I'll let you know if I need out else. Bye-bye. Mm, I, lo I love her character design. Materials and tools. That means Karen and Blackthorn. She's like the mechanic class. Cool. Okay, uh, speak with Sharon. Speak with Blackthorn. Okay. Boy, I wish I knew where to get to find a griffin at. Because I feel like the griffin's going to give me new armor. Thank you, sir. Wait, what? Back Didn't I just come through this door earlier? Let me just jump down there. I got all turned around. Sid's gonna chop off Cooker's head this time. You were born in Rosalith, weren't you? How's it coming along? Do 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 do. Running, running. Actually, briskly. Jog, jogging more like. Blackthorn, you busy? What's it look like? 
I have a commission for you from mid. My, my, aren't we friendly? Tools. Do you think you can make them? Bloody hell. Was she planning to build with this stuff? An airship? Yeah. I'll see what I can do. Tell her I'll bring them over when they I'm They mentioned done. an airship in this. My thanks. And mids, no doubt. Okay, Sharon time. It's all right. Was wondering where you got to. Mids back from Canva. Have you seen her? Just now. She's planning to set up a workshop in the stores and ask me to buy her some materials. Here's the list. What kind of store mid's gonna have? Am I finally gonna get different there. armor? This lot won't be much of a trader if I couldn't. Excellent. As for payment, it's paid hundred times over by what that girl's done for us. If it weren't for her filters, we'd have nought to drink but blight water, and that would have drained the life out of us long ago. Indeed, it would. I'll send the stuff on to Mid when it comes in. Thank you. Blight water. That just leaves the carpenter. Let's see if Bardolph's available. I does it say you have new stuff? Well, don't just stand there gawping. Don't just stand there gawping. Uh. Ooh, if I upgrade this hunter's waist cloth. It's expensive. Only to well, might as well. It is better I'll be here. Hunter's arm cloth. This won't be stronger. I need more potions. You're rubbing me blind, you know. More high potions. It is better I'll be here. Take another elixir. You're rubbing me blind, you know. So all valuables. Finished, are you? Finished, are you? Let's go reinforce our hunter's waistcloth. So would it be? What's grindstone? I had a new weapon. Oh, this is from a uh, 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 what's his face? The Titan. Yes. Yes, yes. We 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 want that. No scratches, right? Okay. Uh, hunter's waistcloth. I can't do part plus two. No. Oh, I can only craft it. Okay. Platinum cannons. All right. Uh. Earthen Fury? I can't... I can't upgrade these. No, man. Oh, wait, I can. Waste cloth. Okay, okay, okay. So, we'll do that. My best work, but it'll do. And then we'll do plus two. You can thank me later. Sweet. I wish these were stronger. Like, I really like this, the flame tongue, the look of that sword. Alright. Oh, actually. It's alright. See, there's nothing to fear from Kuka. You'll deal with him. Alright, alright. This sword, this sword looked good. Wait, where am I supposed to go? Why are you way down there? I got a cool, cool looking sword again, finally. Wait, what? Oh. 
How do, Master Sig? Bard off. Mid's looking to build a workshop in the storeroom, and she needs the aid of a skilled carpenter. So naturally, I thought of you. Well, I'd love to help the young miss however I can. But I'm afraid I got my hands full just keeping this place afloat. There's holes need patching, and if I don't patch them, will all of us sink into the mirror? Let me guess, I need to go I'd do stuff for you. I'd spare mid all the time I have, but the sad truth is, I ain't got none. <sighs> I see. It don't have to be me, though, does it? What about that other fella? You know, the one over at Martha's Rest. Bernard, was it? That's right. And he is a friend of the cause. I'll ask Martha if she can spare him. Is that Thank the you, bridge guy? Adolf. <laughs> Least I could do. Okay, so now we need to head to Martha's Rest. Back and forth, back and forth. At least we can fast travel. Okay. Hi, Martha. Ah, Clive, what brings you to the rest? Ah, uh, home finds itself in need of an extra carpenter. I wondered if I might be able to borrow Bernard for a short while. I don't mind if he don't. We're all friends here, aren't we? Thank you, Martha. Do you know where I might find him? He went up to Cressida on business. No idea what, mind. Place is a ruin. Far as I know, he's still there. I'll look for him there, then. Time to go on a venture. Come on, Torgal. In what situations do you transform, Torgal? Stay sharp. Standards down. Where you at, bridge boy? Oh, that seems kind of far. Uh, can I go down this way? Chocobo. Come on. Ambrosia. Faster. I don't care about you guys. I'm questing. What? No. I didn't call upon you, PlayStation. I should probably disable that uh, darn voice command thing. Oh, looks like I took the wrong turn. Yep, I can't go this way. Yeah, how do I get over there? Uh, I guess I have to exit Martha's Rest, uh... You know what? Let me just uh, do this. Okay, I exited the wrong direction. It's quicker to do this than just to climb back up those ladders and stuff. Okay, so I should probably go this way, maybe. Oh, hey, there's a chest here. Ooh, music. I'll borrow you. Yeah, this the way, this the way. Hello, Ambrosia. Yeah.
All right, let's go get it. You eat that. Time to fight. Get out of my way. Hello, love. This guy has really bad turning radius. Five gill, five gill. Let me guess, you want me to destroy all those flying things over there? If it ain't the lad who saved my life, what brings you to a place like this? You do, Bernard. Martha said I might find you here. I have a proposition for you. Oh, do you know? Come work for me. Building a workshop, you say? <laughs> well, that beats tacking boards to bridges, sure enough. And if Martha didn't mind me being gone a while, then neither do I. You just tell me where you want me. That's the spirit. I, uh, I couldn't ask a favor, though, could I? Before we go? Of course. I knew it. Well, that there is Cressida, where I grew up. Ain't much left of it now, though. Except my parents' graves. But I, I came up here hoping to visit. I even patched up the bridge to get across. Only to find the place crawling with fiends. But you're a dab hand when it comes to dealing with beasts and bogles, ain't you? Any sure I am. You could, uh... It's the least I can do. Thank you kindly. And take care. Alrighty. Wait. I can only have three. You know what? I know exactly which one I want to replace. Because I am not a fan of this one. Yes. Wait, what? Wait, how come... How come this one has uh, stars on showing stars and these other ones don't? I don't get it. Oh, because it's tied to their circle. Got it. Okay, Titan. So I don't need any of Rema's abilities. I can actually... What I can do... Since I'm not going to use these, I can refund, right? So upgrade... So I can reset this, get 525 back. And then I can get this back. Because that means I can buy this one. Yeah. And now... I'm probably going to want to upgrade um, this thing. Yeah, I know I'm going to want to upgrade that. Okay, cool. We'll master that. You know, we should master this too. Nope. All right. Whoa, I'm getting a lot of lag right now. Let me see. Yes! Sweet. Alright, cool. Oh! Switch to Torgo from my potion pouch. Alright, let's test this out. This shouldn't take long. Oh, what 
was that? This one. Bye bye. I want to test it. Come on, I want to test it. Oh, what? Heal me. Come on. Come on. Let me test this block. To me, boy. Dang it. I want to test this block. Come here. Ah. Well done, Toko. Ah. Forget you then. Come from, buddy. Nope. Hello. Ooh. Hello. Nope. Ah, oh, come on. Why am I, uh... Trying to do that thing. Trying to do the thing. Boom, baby. It's over. All right. I don't. I feel like I parried, but he wasn't doing a follow up. That should do it. <laughs> you made short work of that lot. Thank you, son. Now my folks can rest in peace once more. How long is it since the village was abandoned? Oh, people started packing their things after the duchy fell. Between the blight and the Imperials, you just couldn't make ends meet. Must be nigh on a decade since the last wagon left. Though it may as well have been a century, looking at the place. This isn't the Cressida I remember. I'm sorry. My combat's gonna look funky until I get used to this Titan ability. 
Ah, don't be. Can't live in the past. So now we dodge Better with R1. Weapon. Soon as I'm done saying a prayer for those that we can parry with either a square for, with my strike, Immediate. melee strike, or I can parry with the Titan circle. See what I mean about different buttons for basically the same mechanic? That should take care of Mid's little list. Better head back before she thinks of anything else. Gets confusing for the brain. Potion? Dang it. Uh, speak with mid. Uh, do I go back to Martha's Rice? Oh, I go back to the hideaway. Okay. I feel like I'm taking more damage now, by the way. Jill looked white as a sheet. And what can I do for you? I need more potions. I wish we can carry more than these. It'd better all be here. You'll not find a better price than that. Come again. Oh, don't. You know what? Let's uh, check out this new uh, jukebox oh, song I got. It was a rare one. Is this new? Too somber. So these are all uh, songs from the area that you find these in. Yeah, we'll just leave everything default. I don't want to hear like, you know, uh, one song here and then hear the same one in another spot. I want each area to be different. your various orders and a carpenter by the name of Bernard is on his way from Martha's rest that's brilliant thanks Clive is there anything else you need nope Blackthorn and Lady Karen have already sent over everything I asked for and I've got all my plans drawn up so as soon as Bernard gets here we can get to work <laughs> I can't wait The Breath of Earth. <sighs> That's my good deed for the day done. <sighs> so it's one of my wind up punches. Ch -ch -ch -ch. Crease defense, crease attack. What's this? Reduces wind up cooldown time by three seconds. That's not a lot. Which one's wind up? Is it this one? Yeah, I'd rather have my attack. Let's see how Jill's faring. Shouldn't you be getting some rest? Oh, my eyes itchy. Jill. Recovering, but she still needs her rest. Of course. Of course. Careful, of course. Yeah. A horse is a I'll force. Oh, Gav was looking for you. He said he had something to show you in the shelves. Did he now? The shelves. Oh, that's right. He went to ask Hippocrates about Togo. He must have found something. 
I almost only want to use my Titan and Phoenix abilities so I can, you know, parry and then dash towards him and quickly switch back to parry again. It's worth considering, Leo. It suits your play style greatly. I like keeping Gerudo around, though, because when you... Uh, you can uh, use it to stagger enemies heavily. Drawing on the deck in this time. What is this side quest? Do you have a moment, Sid? A team of curse breakers has gone missing near Northreach. Which team? Coles. They were sent to liberate a carriage of bearers before they could be smuggled to market. They were moving in for their assault when the carriage was attacked by goblins. A curse breaker goblins. managed to release a stolas amid the confusion, but <sighs> this was days ago. They should be back by now, but I've heard nothing from any of them. I can't help but worry that... They know the work is dangerous. But I'm sure they're fine. But what if I've got them all killed? Before they go out, I always remind them why we're doing this. What they escaped. And what we're freeing people from. But I never really thought how my words might affect them. What risks they might take because of the things I've said. I'll go find them. I'll go and find them. We'll both rest easier knowing they're safe. Thank you, Sid. And I'm sorry to trouble you with this. The plan was to intercept the slaver somewhere in the Dragon's Airy. I can't tell you much more than that, I'm afraid. Dragon's Airy. That should be enough to go on. If they were there, Torgo will track them down. Quest accepted. All right. Is Jill in my quarters? Oh wait, what is this? Oh, it's Tom's. Clive, where have you been? I've been wanting to ask you something about Torgal. Where did you get him? Like in the first place? Uh, my father. Robert Lowe. From one of his expeditions into the Northern Territories, they were crossing a snowfield when they heard his cries and. Seeing no sign of his pack, they took him in. What do you reckon, Tones? It certainly adds weight to the theory. Clive, I believe that Torgal may be no mere hound, but a rare frost wolf, an animal native to frost the wolf? northern reaches really? of Alisthea. Really? In one of our bestiaries, I found <laughs> reference to a frost wolf who served as guardian to an ancient queen of the north. Such was his mastery over ether, he could cast magics on command. His name was Fenrir. Fenrir the Frost. Fenrir. Now, what is this, God of War? The annals do not state it explicitly, but I have reason to believe this queen was a dominant of Shiva, a girl from the Northern Territories and her faithful hound. One awakens as the dominant of Shiva, and the other? You're saying that Jill granted Toggle his powers. Ooh. What? Just like Fenrir. People called him my hound, but Toggle and Jill were inseparable. He grew up as a faithful companion to the dominant of Shiva, and years later, his powers awakened. Just when his master needed him the most. You're right. If it weren't for Torgal blasting those bastards to kingdom come, Jill would have been for it. So why does he follow me around? Though Torgal's power is his own. His latent birthright as a frost wolf. It had only to be unlocked. Oh, get you, Torgal. <laughs> You're an even finer hound than we thought. <laughs> and regarding your original concern, you need not fear for Torgal's health. Why, the beast has the appetite of a behemoth. Just this very morn, I found him with his nose buried in my nuts. If, if it's there you are. If he's Fenrir, that means he I has a companion. I need you to introduce us so we can get to work. <sighs> I shall be a moment. I 
think a fire wolf exists too. I'll pay you back. Well, I couldn't have done without you. <laughs> for you lot, starting right now. Just you wait. I'll make wonders like this world's never seen. Then I look forward to seeing them. Now that that's settled, I wonder if Vivian's made any progress tracking down Kupka. Kupka. So, can I get anything special down here? Eh? Eh? Nothing? That's gonna be something. What's this other side quest? You have the look of a man with the twins upon his shoulders, Rodriguez. Talia has tasked me with removing a curse breaker's brand. But it's my first time and I, I don't think I can do it. I'm afraid of what happens if I fail. Be a little more confident, you buddy. Survived, I know, but here as many die as recover. Is it really worth the risk? You don't need me to answer that. You know full well what we're fighting for. I hope as much as you that one day bearers can walk among others as equals. But until that day, a brand is a burden. And we must lift that burden in order to go undetected. The operation may be dangerous, but it's also essential. And we undergo it willingly. I oh, know. I still wish there was some other way. Griping about my lot helps no one, I suppose. Don't worry. I'll do what must be done. Do you guys really go undetected, though? I mean, all of you have scars the right there where a brand usually is. Preparation of a draft to dull the pain. Something I can't do with the infirmary's ammonia supply so low. What few leaves we have would barely be enough for removing a splinter, let alone a brand. This voice acting is like really like. Just tell me what you he need. He sounds like sleepy. You you go. Oh, thank you. No one knows Herblot like Taya, and she swears by a. Oh, no one knows Herblot like Taya. If you know where to look, and fortunately for you, I do. Along the river near the village of Amber, over in Rosaria, just search for the bright blue blossoms. Dude, you're making me fall asleep just by talking. Uh, gather Armonia near Amber. Okay. So much to do. How goes the hunt for Kupka? Largely in circles. We have myriad sightings of strange soldiers in unexpected places. But nothing definitive as yet. If only we knew for certain by what route he left Rosalith. Well, keep at it. If anyone can piece this puzzle together, it's you. And I'm willing to wait as long as it takes. Okay. Awkward silence. What? Here? Would that be a problem? Do you know, Clive? <laughs> I believe it a mercy that you didn't inherit your father's throne. Your poor people would surely live in fear of you. You have nothing to worry about on that front. I won't be claiming his crown. <laughs> that is a relief. Uh, Clive? Have you got a minute? We, um, have a guest. 
I guessed. What's going on here? For your trouble. It was a pleasure being on site. <laughs> Uncle Byron? Uncle. Clive, my boy! Tub a cask and stoke the ovens for your favorite uncle is here! <laughs> <laughs> Jolly old uncle. We're gonna have to destroy this one too eventually, right? The Holy Empire of Sambrique. The Golden Army. The Dalmechian government sues for peace. How shall we respond? If they're willing to accept their fault in the matter, I see no reason to... Hey, is that one a... Knight dominant guy? We must insist on substantial reparations. The twin side stores are not as bottomless as reported. Aye, and we have many more mouths to feed. We shall just have to have the Dalmex empty their treasuries for us. Of course, none of this would have been possible without your timely intervention, Prince Olivier. Indeed, I doubt any of us would have had the courage to... This queen is even like Cersei. Nor less the wit to win him over. The creepy attachment the to a, you a great an death. older son. May the blessing of the crystals go with you, your highness. May the blessing of the crystals go with you. Very good. Now, let us come to the question of precisely when the Dalmex will withdraw their troops. Dion's fire could rid us of them in mere moments. The men of the Fist will not withdraw until a peace treaty is concluded. So let us keep the negotiations open, give them time to gather what gold and trinkets they can, and once they deliver that which we demand, what worth is a piece of parchment? Your Radiance, were Prince Dion to take the field, the enemy would surely send their own dominant to meet him. And while His Highness would of course prevail, there would be heavy losses on both- You need not fear Hugo Kupka. He is engaged on the Western Front. Even were the Dalmex to send for him, he would not arrive in time. As much as I would enjoy witnessing a clash between Bahamut and Titan, it is not to be. And what of your subjects, your radiance? If the fighting spread to the city proper, the people would bear the brunt of it. There will be losses, it is true. Does this if prince have a good heart? Falls, another can be bred. For every home that burns, another can be built. The empire will live on. Whatever you say, Thanos. Dion? Yes, sir. So quiet. Prepare.
prepare for battle. But sire... Do not make me repeat myself. Return to your camp and await my orders. If that is your wish, your radiance, I shall depart at once. He's going to throw that flower away. May Gregor forgive you. Follow him. What do the astrologers augur? The stars are in agreement, your radiance. The shadow of treachery hangs over Prince Dion. It's okay, Prince Dion. You can join Clive. True. You disappoint me, Dion. Evil MILF. Creepy kid. Creepy! What on earth is Uncle Byron doing here? Only one way to find out. The little ones have been up to their own. It's just one thing after another around here. Bling, bling, bling. We'll say hi to Uncle Dion. What up, Unc? What it do, Unc? My dear nephew, how I've missed you. <laughs> how did you find this place, Uncle? Through the good offices of young Sir Wade. He really is the most helpful fellow. As are you, I hear. The Guardians and those they freed tell the most outlandish tales of your heroics in Rosalith. Which is why I came, to learn the full truth of the matter. Sort the fact from the fiction, so to speak. You were working with the Guardians of the Flame to evacuate the people of Rosalith to Port Isolde. I was. Aye. Then I have questions for you. Please, come inside, Uncle. Gladly. Uh, you there? There are 2,000 gold talents in those chests. See that they're added to my nephew's coffers, would you? Whoa. 2,000? That's a lot of money. And I'm afraid that is all I know. A fleet sailing south past Port Isolde. Most intriguing. Forgive me for not being able to tell you more. I hadn't the faintest idea Coco withdrew wounded from Rosalith. Still less that my own nephew dealt the decisive blow. What do you think, Vivian? I think, with this news of the Dalmechian fleet and recent reports of the Royalists' movements, that the final piece of the puzzle has fallen into place. Come here and I'll show you. Another one of her stories. Story time. It is known that Kupka's forces entered Rosaria via its unguarded coast. So can the same be said of your visitors from Walud? Certainly her royal navy is famed for the efficiency that boy got punked night from one battlefield to the next. And in the Ein Heyar, or Black Galleon, she boasts a vessel nigh as swift and every bit as feared as the kingdom's legendary Nigh cavalry. a swift. A fitting flagship for a land apart, her naval presence being crucial to her ambitions beyond Ash. Yes, it seems safe to assume that the Royalists did indeed enter Rosaria from the sea. So then, had you a vested interest in Titan's survival, whither would you take him? Why home to Drake's Fang, 
A place rich enough in ether to conjure the magics needed to mend his hurts. But would that not entail an arduous voyage around the Southern Cape? Let us say that the Royalists did put ashore with a mind to spirit Kupka away from under your very nose. Could that truly have been their plan for him? To load him aboard one of the ship's flying Republican colors sighted off the coast near Port Isolde. To spend weeks at sea, being tossed hither and yon by unforgiving waves, his life hanging in the balance. No. The journey would mean Titan's death, and Kupka's faithful creatures would not allow it. So what then was the plan of our Waluda friends? Reports suggest they made not for the coast, but for the desert. And by cutting through the Velcroy, a party traveling light would have Titan back in his bed days before a galley could lurch into port. To wit, it was the Royalists, not the Republicans, who effected Hugo Kupka's safe retreat. I would stake your life on it. Insightful, as always. So it was the Waludas who spirited the wretch away. Now I think about it, there was something a little strange about the ships I saw. The men seemed almost crestfallen, as if in mourning, as if they believed or were made to believe that their master was dead. <laughs> you have a keen mind, Lord Rosfield, and you have your answer. To find Kupka, you have merely to follow the Royalist trail across the Velcroy. It may well have gone cold by now, but as they say in the Republic, all roads lead to Drake's Fang. Uh, allow me to accompany you part of the way. As luck would have it, I had intended to journey Camberwood on business after visiting you here. The Fang would be but a short detour. I'd be glad of the company. Sure, you're gonna fight with me? Ready. I'm down with that. I need to tell my friends what we've learned and where we're going. Very well, but be quick about it, my boy. Time waits for no man. Speak with Otto. Mid's finished outfit in a little workshop, boy. Otto, Kupka's at Drake's Fang. I'll be leaving before sunset. You're not going in there alone, are you? Don't worry. I'm not going there to destroy the Mother Crystal. All I'm after is Kupka's head. I won't risk any more than I have to. I promise. The lands around the Fang are all Kupka's personal fiefdom. You have any trouble on the way, you ask for Rosina Dalemil. Some call her the Desert Hare. Who is she? An old associate of Sid's. And only Sid's. All I know is the name, and that they used to meet at the Dalamil Inn. We've heard nothing from her since he died. But I'm thinking maybe the new Sid might be able to bring her back into the fold. Thanks. I'll keep that in mind. A new party member. So, Hell yeah. Uh, what about your uncle? I, I mean, he's welcome to stay, but... Don't look so worried. He'll be coming with me. Thank fuck for that. <laughs> Gav, Otto, I'm leaving you two in charge. You can count on us. Okay. All right, Uncle. I'm ready to depart. Shall we? We shall. Come, let us away to adventure. The Velcroy Desert. Let's see Unk do some battle. 
I was a young man when last I walked this path. There's an old trading post not far from here. The road to Drake's Fang leads through it. The trading post it is. Yeah, he is going to fight with us. Riddle of the Sands. All right, then. Our destination lies over that dune beyond the ruins. Mark them well, Clive. It's all too easy to lose one's bearings in the sands. Is it now? So many things flying around. You come down here. You stay down. Hello. Come down here. It's over. Uh, should we just ride our chocobos? Ready, go. Hello. Is that a chest? I do believe there's a chest over here. When you were just a boy, you and I rode this way together. Is that a hell diver? What is that? Oh, that's a flying bird. a scouting expedition to Drake's Fire. He let me come with you. I'm not surprised you don't remember. Run! Why can't I run? Oh, because they're so eager to be there. They're talking. Brother arrived, but you whipped your chocobo too hard on the journey home and fell from the saddle. <laughs> I shall never forget how Elwyn fussed over you as you sat in the sand, bawling like a babe. Black blood? Hello, are you enemies? No, you're friendlies. Uh, there seems to be quite a few things out here. We gotta go exploring later. Who do you think those soldiers are? So, Lord Kupka has finally made his move. Lord Kupka? Anything over here? There she is, the good old Dalamil Inn. Do you know, this heat has given me quite a thirst. Uh, quick drink before we press on? Uh, sure. Crack one open, Unc. What was that destination nearby? Oh. Someone's not happy. Look there. Those are ashen steeds. No doubt about it. And such a long ride from Stonehair. Our Waluda friends must be soothing their saddle sores in the inn. Shall we join them? Ashen chocobos. Play now, Torgal. Dogs aren't allowed inside. Social stealth mode. Final Fantasy Creed. Valaha. Hello, my lady. I 
I really appreciate that he takes off his sword before he sits down. A lot of games don't bother, and you see the sword clipping through whatever it is they're sitting down on. Eating? <laughs> Sorry about my pal. He only talks when his mouth's full. What do you recommend? Well, if you're after something light, we do a fine chocobo soup with lentils and honey. <gasps> Two bowls of that, then. An ale. How yeah? could you? Hey, go! Coming! Clive, you ride a chocobo. Your pal? Would you rather be my squire? Your noble steed is a ch chocobo, and you order chocobo stew. Villain! Oh, you look familiar. Is Joshua here? <coughs> of course he is. Grace, it is plain you are not yet well enough to travel. If you would only let me take you to someone who can better attend to your ills. No, we must press on. Prince Dion has returned to his camp and will soon depart for the front. I must speak with him at all costs. Miss this chance and I may never get another. You do understand that? Yes, Your Grace. You must at least agree to take your medicine. I'll fetch you some water. I wonder if we'll get to control Joshua again, like we did in the beginning of the game. He had really cool powers. Send. I hear I'll they have another back to the fang without any trouble. We'll be leaving soon enough. Why the Lord Commander dragged us all this way just to save that blockhead skin. I'll never know. Dominant or not, he's a bloody idiot. That'll be Cooker, then. <laughs> well, let's get this down us. We've a long way to go. Hey! You. Yeah, you don't want to do that, tough guy. Uncle. Sorry. That sword is so cool. Very pleased to have a cool looking sword in cutscenes again. Of course you didn't notice Clive there. Why would you notice him? He was only like three feet away from you. Can you walk, Your Grace? What's wrong? I fear trouble may be brewing downstairs. You two are travelers, are you not? <laughs> Me and my companions are strangers here. Be good I mean, she would instantly know that's Clive based on the armor. Find our way. It's the dad's armor. Sorry, lads. But we've got business in camera that can't The hood doesn't exactly hide it. Ah, I'm sure you could spare us an hour or two. Come on, come on. Come on. Friend.
that would be me. Gotta eat all my food first. Hmm. I'm afraid we don't have a moment to lose. Friend. Stay back, Uncle. Gladly. <laughs> He's gonna drink all the ale over there. Take him. Try it. Hello. Target lock. I didn't target lock. practice on you. You're my practice. Okay. Come on. Woo, there we go. <laughs> oh, no. That's great. You gave me an actual parry. Woo. That was sweet. If you didn't know, I love parrying in video games. And that's an actual parry. Right before it hits you. Your trouble. Uh, word of advice, miss. That soup could do with a touch more salt. <laughs> Don't you lie about him being there. Now's our chance. Why wouldn't you tell him that his brother's there? I'm fine. Wait, does she ever see Clive? She had to have. Why would that happen now after they left? Make it make sense. All this time and the feather reacts as soon as he leaves. What is it now? It's your other nephew. It means nothing. Let's go. I 
I guess we're not going to get the uncle to fight with us. Maybe if I fight like a uh, random uh, creatures while we're... while we are traveling. to find cup cover for we do now am i missing anything that guest is enough when you go flat we should press on before any more of that oh flat bread i get it oh that looks so good mm. these middle eastern flatbreads like fresh out the oven oh to die for most fragrant herbs and spices. Another fight. I wanna go exploring. In exchange for one great sword great sword forge to specifications here under, Red Rooster Trading will pay the sum of one thousand gil. No less than eight hands in length. Weighted Palma. Where where? Where where can I get this? Uh, I guess I'll have access to this later. What's this? For the best drop in dollar mill, visit the Fennel Sting. Okay. Why is the tavern shot? Dude, this uh, level design is really cool. I dig it. Let me treat you. I'm pretty flush these days. I need to drink. Are you smoking? Genuine cactor needles imported from across the sea. Just one prick and your little sparrow will sing. <laughs> what? Ooh, chest. Can't think that'll do it. More battle. Ah, they've closed the road. And it's the only way from here to the Fang. It would seem Lord Kupka is not accepting visitors at present. We have to get through that gate. Uh, not by force, I trust. We've attracted quite enough unwanted attention already. Have we? By guile, then. Perhaps the desert hare can offer us her aid. Rosina Dalamil, woman of mystery. But how will we find her? We know naught of her but her name. And that she was working with Sid. Sid's other collaborators have all been people of means. The wealthiest and most successful members of their communities. I'll wager this Rosina Dalamel is the same. That would certainly help to narrow the search. We need only inquire as to who is in charge of the town. And that's exactly what I mean to do. All right. Okay, speak with townspeople. Looks like we won't be getting back to Drake's Fang anytime soon. Well, it's not our Anything I can help you with, travelers? Allow me. Tell me where Aladdin My is. My good man, we represent one of the oldest and greatest trading houses of Port Isolde. We're seeking to expand our business in the region and would very much like to make the acquaintance of Dalamil's leading entrepreneurs. <laughs> if only we knew where to find them. Hmm. Well, we're best known for our baths, our markets, and our smithies. I suppose you could do worse than start your search at one of those. Thank you. You've been most helpful. Oh, um... You wouldn't happen to know a lady by the name of 
Rosina Dalamil, would you? No. I can't say I do. Well, liar. Thank you all the same. Hang him over the ledge. Interrogation techniques by Batman. What do you want? Can't you see I'm busy? I won't keep you long. I'm looking for someone. A woman by the name of Rosina Dalamil. Do you know her? The textures are off on this scene. Is that all? One more question. If I wanted to find the richest trader in town, where would you recommend that I look? Oh, that's easy. The Briar's Kiss. I don't find a finder smithy this side of the strait. The owner's only a young sprig. But he's got all the right ideas. Why is everybody so the pretty in this game? Say. Thank you. I doubt this young sprig is the person we're looking for. You said Sid's contact was likely to be an influential sort. Influence comes with age and experience. Influencer? You, me. Should I go ask for her IG? Uh, didn't it say talk to somebody around here? Look at this low res water. What's going on? Can I help you? Yes, I'm looking for a woman by the name of Buzina Dalamil. A long standing pillar of your community, I believe, from old trading stock. Then you should ask further. He's been here for years. Knows the place and its people like the back of his hand. And he's in with all the old merchant families. Try the baths. That's where you'll usually find him. Thank you kindly. The baths, eh? Well, it sounds like we have our man. Perhaps. Let's go and find out exactly what this Ferda knows. Speak with Ferda. Hello. Excuse me. Are you Ferda? I am. Can I help you, travelers? I hope so. You've lived here for some time, is that correct? Do you know Rosina Dalamil? We believe she may be a traitor of some I never want to switch off this sword. And this sword is so business. cool. Do you have with the desert hair? She was a close friend of mine. I was hoping she might be able to help me. Very well. Go to the bordello. I'll arrange an introduction. Okay. Do you think we can trust him? Only as far as I think. So you're the ones who've been sniffing around. More fighting, yes. I beg your pardon. Don't play the fool. Stick your nose in our business and you're likely to lose it. Ah, uh, you're about to get parried, buddy. I'm just saying. Come on. Come on. Hell yeah. Nice. Hello. Oh, I didn't mean to. It was on the potion again. This one. Come here. Stay down. Come on. You want to attack me? Oh, hello. Hello. You guys get out of my face. There's so much going on right now. Uh, 
Okay. This one. I'm hurt, Torkel. Come back. Let me parry, let me parry, let me parry, let me parry. I wanna parry. Come on. Attack me. Ah. <laughs> That was fun. Man, parrying made the combat so much, so much more fun for me. Who are you working for? Him or her? Uh, uh, him. The, the boss. He wanted us to test you. Though one could hardly call that. A test. Lord Ferda? Look what the cat dragged in. Your skill with a blade is rare indeed, my lord. A fitting talent for an outlaw. You know who I am. So what now? Call in the men of the rock and collect the bounty? That isn't my decision to make. Our work is done. Take him to meet his precious Rosina. She will be interested to make his acquaintance. Yes, my lord. To the lock of leisure, then. Yeah. You better listen. To the lock of leisure. The lock of leisure. Uh, anything back here? Did you guys enjoy the show? Fresh bread, warm the from the oven. Warm from the, the oven. Is this the place? Ubo's Forge, the Briar's Kiss. Ah, so it was the young sprig after all. So much for Rosina Dalamil being a woman of experience. How wrong I was. It was an easy mistake to make, Uncle. After all, it must have been years since Sid last saw her. Sorry, him. Whoever this Lubor truly is, he's clearly a man of means. I'd say he deserves our respect. See that he gets it. All right. Ubor, Lord Ferda told me to bring them to you. My boys tell me you're in need of assistance. Sid the Second? Sid the Second? <laughs> I won't waste your time. I need passage through the South Gate. And your best sword. <laughs> Tell me, what do you think is a merchant's most important <clears throat> commodity? Why, trust. Everyone knows that. Without it, you have nothing. <laughs> and nothing is exactly what you have. And so, for you, I, too, have nothing. I'm not in the business of helping every lost puppy that wanders in off the street. I'm a busy man, as you can see. Look, you smug punk. Let's leave this mama to his farce. By all means. Find someone else to help you on your way. Just be sure to tell them you're not the two travelers from the inn the guards are looking for. Don't want them jumping to conclusions, do we? Yeah, I do. Why, you... Bring them all on. So... You should choke him with Garuda's claw. Play. On your trust. Do it. Do it. Hmm. I like this one. Another fetch Willing quest. To do whatever it takes to get what he wants. <laughs> Men like you have a special place in my heart. Why, you ask? 
Because they get me what I want. Always. Fine. So what do you want? Don't tell me you're gonna listen to this swaggering scruff! We might as well hear him out. It's only natural that an ally of Sid's would seek assurances of strangers. Assuming he is an ally, of course. Five years ago, he would have still been a boy. And yet even then I had more good sense than a man... Oh, five times my age? But enough of the pleasantry. You asshole. We were speaking of what I want. I want you to put an end to the trouble in Dalamil. Return to me when you have done so, and you shall have my aid. Until then, I bid you good day. What trouble? If you're going to give us orders, be clear about them, damn you. Manners, Greybeard. One catches more damselflies with honey than with vinegar. What did you call me? My apologies. A word of advice in recompense. Follow the crystals. Oh, but that was three. Oh, I'm making this too easy for you. You mean the way he talks out of the side of his mouth. <laughs> I like that. It adds a smugness. Ah, it will be easy. Solving his little riddle should be like dealing with him. Child's play. Let us divide our forces, Clive. I'd rather not drag this parlor game on any longer than we need to. <sighs> All right. Good luck, Uncle. Bye, Unc. I thought we were the only ones causing trouble in Delamil. Okay. Now what do I have to do? Fulfill Luber's request. A deposit? For what? Which means... my good man now listen uh not quite sure what I'm supposed to do take a sniff good sir. there we go needed to a silken song. you wouldn't believe how much you cloud what can I do for you soldier need that sword polishing I'm not a soldier oh then be off with you I serve the men of the rock and the men of the rock only you have an agreement with them? Don't be stupid. I just know which side my bread is buttered. Don't want to be stuck under some pauper when they come knocking. <laughs> with pockets deeper than Zemeckis and an urge to empty them. No, just leave, will you? So that's Please what you meant off. by polishing my sword. Do you think they'll be back? Rude one you are, by the way. Made from the stoutest stoneware. Just look at the hanging lanterns. Keep the darkness from your door. Okay, uh, oops, back there. Fresh bread. Light meat and salt. Fresh from the grill. Uh, quest is nearby. I got it, I got it. Do you have a moment? Depends what for. Just a question. Dalamil seems to be thriving compared to the other villages I came through on the way. Is there a reason for that? Well, we're a stone's throw from Drake's Fang for one. The soldiers guarding the Mother Crystal and the shipments need a place to spend their hard-earned gill. The men of the rock throw their money about like there's no tomorrow. Is that so? Well, thank you. Don't let me keep you from your work any longer. Good day, sir. Nice chocobo. Mm, straight ahead. Quest destination nearby. Uh, where? Hello. Excuse me. Is it true there's been trouble with crystals of late? You've heard, then? I've heard rumors. Damn thieves. Pilfering the crystals that were meant to fill our cups and light our stoves. Us common folk have hardly had a shard to share between us these last few moons. And it isn't as if we can buy them on the black market, either. 
Whoever's taking them, they aren't sharing. I think I'm starting to get an idea of what's been going on. Okay, fine, Byron. If Uncle Byron's learned anything of use, they'll probably be back at the inn by now. Uncle, Uncle Byron, where are you? What was all that crashing and banging about before? Hello, my lady. It's you, the one who broke all our furniture. Yeah, but we gave you, you money. Want? Haven't you caused enough trouble already? We paid for it. I'm looking for my pal. Have you seen him? The gentleman who was with you? Yes, he's upstairs, but... But what? Thank you. I'll go and fetch him. Was that missing dialogue or... Is that meant to insinuate he's busy with somebody? Why did it go silent all of a sudden? Let me treat you. I'm pretty flush these days. How are you now? I need to drink. Where exactly... Oh. This suffice as a deposit. By the sands. That's a black pearl. One of the many treasures in my collection that I would be only too happy to part with, should you give me reason to do so. All right. I'm sure that we can come to an agreement, but not here. What are you doing, Uncle? He's bribing the gates people, the guards. Care to explain why you're giving gifts to Kupka's men? Bait, my boy. One cannot catch one's prey without it. And I do believe I've snagged us quite the quarry. I started by asking around the markets as to where I might purchase crystals. I had no luck, of course. It's forbidden to trade in such things. But my uncharacteristic indiscretion just happened to attract the attention of those uniformed ruffians. They took me aside and said they could procure the crystal I sought if I proved I could pay for it. So the pearl was your proof? <laughs> I thought they'd ask for more. A second-rate specimen like that would only fetch 500,000 or so. Only? A price to pay for admittance to the underworld. But enough about my little act of subterfuge. Unk is what rich, did you rich. discover? That the supply of crystals has dried up of late. And some people seem to think they're being stolen. Meanwhile, members of Kupka's private guard have been spending money all over town. I'll wager those soldiers you've been talking to have been siphoning off crystals meant for elsewhere and pocketing the profits. I'll wager you're right. We'll meet with the men, just as you arranged, and put an end to the trouble Lubor spoke of. Ha! That preening Popinjay thought this would be difficult. It just goes to show, once you <clears> never <throat> underestimate a Rosfield. We'll soon wipe that smirk off his face. I arranged to meet with the soldiers in a secluded corner of the Velcroy, far from prying eyes. Rendezvous with soldiers. A perfect place for a spot of double dealing. I trust I can count on your support, if things turn sour. <sighs> of course. All right. Uh, where am I supposed to rendezvous at? In the desert. Okay. So, this is the part of Final Fantasy I'm not thrilled about. There's just... So much padding.
Just this whole time we've just been running around hearing about some crystals. All for what? Just to get through a gate. Uh, okay, whatever. Um, Fly Ambrosia. By the way, I also wish um the transition of getting on and off your mount would be quicker, so I can like get right into battle and hop right back on afterwards. Yeah, get out of my face. Okay, let's get a view. Hello. Six desert roses. Um, where are ye? Ye over here. Quest destination nearby. Are you hiding behind the rocks? Perhaps I'll you're hidden in the sand. Here. I was beginning to think you weren't coming, my lord. You've brought your contribution? All the silver and stones I could scrape together at such short notice? You brought the whole 500 talents. That was the price we agreed upon, yes? If you've no objections, I'd like to see the crystal. Of course. Right this way, my lord. You're gonna try to rob us, aren't you? Not bad at all. You weren't lying about the clarity. But what of security? If I were to be stopped on the road, what guarantee have I that it wouldn't be seized as property of the Republic? Because these crystals are no longer the property of the Republic. You're not buying from us. You're buying from them. It was we a have trap. No more jurisdiction here than you, my lord. But we have ships and will gladly deliver to a port of your choosing now that our price has been met. Royalists, eh? Ooh. What brings you here? Why, to collect their share of Drake's Fang's blessing, of course. Our nations are allies, and so they are entitled to a portion of the Mother Crystal's bounty. And. Being such good friends, we elected to increase that portion and share the benefits. And now that these crystals are officially property of the Kingdom of Ulud, we are duty-bound not to interfere, no matter where they might happen to end up next. Did you get all that? They're in cahoots! <sighs> so it would seem. My lord! What is the meaning of this? Double-crossing dogs. They're not here to do business. Kill them. Kill them both! Oh. Back here. Nope. Hello. Woo. You gotta love it. Why did I get hit when I was doing my parry stuff? Oh. Are you a mage? I don't like mages. 
Where's this mage at? I need to get this mage out of here. Bye bye. Where's this other mage at? You get out of here. Come here. Hello. Oops. Bam, baby. New enemies again? Who are you, Royal Knight? stuck on Fun, 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 fun. Well, that wasn't too bad. How'd you like my performance, huh? I've often played the villain on the stage. I think I did the role justice. Don't you? Great. You did great, Unc. You were magnificent. The battle scene was particularly thrilling. Such a shame you didn't have more of an audience, but... Perhaps that's for the best. Can we smack this guy? How long have you been watching? Long enough to witness your uncle's sordid transaction. I hardly expected one so venerable to degrade himself so thoroughly. Buying one's way into the confidence of degenerates. Ingenious. This was the trouble you spoke of. The men of the rock taking crystals men for the common folk and conspiring with the royalists. Well... Now it's over. Indeed it is. The people of Dalamil had scarcely any means of address against Kupka's men, let alone a foreign army. Until you two came along, that is. Mm-hmm. Well, we'd better get these crystals back to town. You won't mind waiting with them while I fetch a wagon. It occurs to me that I still don't know your name. Clive. <laughs> so... Sid the second is a Clive. <laughs> I suppose it could have been worse. Well, Clive, you held up your end of the bargain, so I must do the same. Passage through the south gate, was it not? To tell the truth, you've helped a little there too. Many of the guards have already been redeployed to deal with the issue of their missing comrades. And those left behind have been... Encouraged to look the other way should you attempt to pass through. Thank you. And please allow me to cover your costs. Uh, you still have the purse I gave to the soldiers, I trust. I saw you pluck it from one of the bodies. Oh, dear. Was I really so obvious? And my name is not Greybeard, 
It is Lord Byron Rosfield. Thank you very much. No, thank you very much. Greybeard. Double the. Shit. <laughs> Here, wear this. Desert Rose. Any friend of mine who sees you with it shall be a friend of yours. Thank you, Lubor. And please, feel free to send one of my stolices back to your people. Tell them that Rosina Dalamil is back in bed with Sid. Doesn't change the fact I want to smack your face. Oh, what's this? An owl? Oh, messenger owl. We are lost, Dylan. To his Achilles. What the? I'm trusting you, Sid. Or should I say, Clive? So be sure not to let me down. You get, better get that finger out of my face. <laughs> Well then, I wish you a safe journey south. Thank you. Not at all. It was my pleasure. Come on, Uncle. Let's go. Quest complete. Love to see it. Level up. Okay. Now what? Oh, does it want me to go into the desert? Okay. Oh, hello. What's this? Pick up some side quests. Perhaps Forge Master Luba's having fun at my expense. I wouldn't put it past him. Hmm, neither would I. Oh, wait. Oh, Clive. Sorry, my mind was Who's elsewhere. Who's that? I'm Sava, Master Luba's least accomplished apprentice. Soon to be former apprentice if I don't. I want a big test. axe, man. Maybe I'm just not the resourceful. I want to be an axe, man. People are buying up weapons faster than the Briar's Kiss can forge them, and here I am, unable to make a decent bit of kitchenware. He wants me to make a carving knife, one that. Embodies the spirit of Dalamil. Whatever that's supposed to mean. Oh, dude, he has a huge ass hammer back there too. You have any idea what he's on about, do you? I'm afraid not. Never mind. Thought I'd ask. It was that, or pack my bags. I could give you a hand. I could give you a hand if you like. I know how busy the Briar's Kiss has been, and that Lubor needs all the capable hands he can find. I'd be a fool to refuse. So, where do we start? Good question. If I'm honest, I've never made any kind of knife before. And then there's this little riddle to keep in mind. The spirit of Dalamil. <sighs> Nothing is ever simple with that man. The way I see it, there's only one way we'll be solving Lupor's puzzle. We need information. The more the better. You're right. There's no point fumbling in the dark, I suppose. Now, who to speak to first? Well, there's plenty of folk in Dalamil who use knives for a living. There's the butcher, of course, and any number of cooks. They're bound to have an opinion or two about the tools of their trade. All right. I think we have All a All right. Let's get to it, shall we? I'll talk to every cook I can find. You speak to the butcher and anyone else you can think of. All right. Good luck. Let's hope that someone says something useful. Yay! Information gathering. Trust Lubor to take a simple test and turn it into a riddle. I better get to it. Hmm. Uh, use help for search dragons or. Have 
The most fragrant herbs and spices from the breadth of the twig. Welcome, sir. What can I do you for? A question, if you don't mind. I need to know what makes a good carving knife. You a blacksmith or something? Something, I suppose. Fair enough. Knives, is it? First and foremost, Thin and sharp. hold an edge. Most knives will make it through fat, no problem, but sinew dulls cheap steel in no time. Give me a blade which can slice through anything that crosses my chopping block, and I'm a happy woman. So a knife that stays sharp. Hmm. Makes sense. If I'm not mistaken, carving knife should also be thinner, skinnier. Who else do I need to talk to? Uh, I might as well pick this one up too. Everything I've worked for, all those years of toil, every coin I've ever earned is tied up in this place. Are you all right? The baths are closed. Leave me be. On second thought, perhaps you are just what I need. Might your services be for hire? That depends on the job. I'd have you save my business, the baths. The water's turned scalding hot and all the crystals in Dalimil wouldn't be enough to cool it. I've no doubt that my woes stem from the water's source. Jill can fix if that. I can't go and investigate for fear of my customers thinking I've abandoned the place. I'm bound to these baths in more ways than one. I beg of you. Go to dozen off terraces. Tell me what you find there. Sure. All right. I'll go and take a look. Wonderful. It's not far. Leave the market by the south gate. The smell of sulfur will guide you the rest of the way. These baths are all that keep me from an ignoble end in a debtor's prison. My livelihood, my very life, is at stake. We couldn't have you be ignoble. All right, then. Where else am I supposed to go? Uh... It's just somebody's around here. I'll be asking for you again. No? Then see that you stay a little longer next time. Are they maybe upstairs? Silver platters. Ha! Ah, they've opened the gate. Lubo was true to his word. Way back to the true indeed. Yeah. What is it? Me no move for chatter. Sorry. Do you mind if I ask your trade? Hunter, why? I have a question. Can you tell me what makes a good carving knife? I assume you use one out in the field. Oh. Um. Has to be able to put up with some punishment. Can't be dealing with a brittle blade, not while I'm on the hunt. If your knife snaps every time you use it, you'll be spending coin as fast as you make it. Times are hard enough as it is. Thank you. He's... I won't keep you any longer. These are a little Business too thing. obvious. Man after my own heart. So, a carving knife should be hard wearing and hold an edge. <laughs> Hardly a revelation. Okay, I'm, I'm glad. I'm glad Clive said it. Let's hope Sava had better luck than I did. Wait, incense. What? what Just look at the. Made from the stoutest stone. All right, at least the writers know. Fresh bread, warm from the oven. Not really a revelation. A sturdy and sharp blade makes a good blade. So, how'd it go? You learn anything useful, or should I be looking for a new trade? Only that a blade should be durable and stay sharp. But I don't see how that relates to the spirit of Dalamil. I didn't have much luck either. All the cook said was that he needs his knives to be light. Too heavy and they do his shoulder in. So we're no better off than when we started. Perhaps Lubor didn't mean anything with his Dalamil remark. But that can't be right. I've bandied enough words with the man to know that he chooses them carefully. No. We must be missing something. Something right in front of our noses, most likely. No doubt you're right, but 
I have to make a start soon. I can't put off making this knife forever. Agreed. Luba wouldn't like that much. Right. I've been trained to work iron. The cheap stuff, mind. But it's hard enough if you don't hammer it too thin, and it sharpens up nicely with a bit of effort. Trouble is, it's either durable or it's light. Meaning someone is going to be disappointed. Iron also or is prone to rusting, or, buddy. Probably. Is there no one else you can turn to? The Japanese, they the make great bad. knives. Eh, the other apprentice is no better than to help me with my test. But maybe there is someone I could turn to. A merchant, a favorite of Forge Master Lubor's, who sells metals to tradesmen passing through the Valkroy. I bet she'd know a thing or two. Return to search Valkroy, what? Okay, I need to check that out and check this out. Got it. The finest fabrics. Take yes, a sniff, good sir. Quite so. Needed to a silken sock. Plates and pots. Holes and silver platters. Ugh. Okay, let's stock up on potions. Anything I can interest you in? Ooh, what's this? Reduces lightning rod cooldown time by five seconds. Too bad I don't use the lightning anymore. Okay, uh, we'll do one of these. Here you are. And we'll sell whatever I have. Thank you for your custom. We should get going soon. Do you have water? Ah, I'm not too late. What is it, Lubal? A question that I neglected to ask earlier. Where is it that you're bound? To Drake's Fang. To finish Hugo Kuka. Ah, just as I thought. Then allow me to share a secret. Drake's Fang is currently riddled with royalists. Tolmeki and Walud are allies, and as you have seen, their soldiers work hand in glove. But no nation has ever before allowed a foreign army to make a barracks of its holiest of holies. Not by choice, at least. And there's more. My man on the inside of the Fang has failed to report for several days. I fear there may be more trouble lying in wait for you on the road ahead. That's fine with me. Isn't there always? If you're determined to beard the lion's den, then promise me one thing. That you will enter via the mines where the guard is lightest. Are you looking out for my safety? I've lost one Sid already. If I lose another, people will start to think me careless. I don't plan on dying. Not before Kuka does, anyway. Well, so long as you have a plan. Look at that. He's actually a big old softy inside. Okay, uh, need to get the hot water. Oh, wait. Dang, I have to go all the way around Drake's there. Fang should be just beyond these springs. Shall we press on? Oh, let's look at the water. Pretty. I mean, that looks easily crossable. Okay, actually, I should end the playthrough right here. And that's all she wrote for this playthrough, folks. This is Final Fantasy 16, playthrough number 12. Pretty uneventful this time around. Just a bunch of questing and exposition. However, I did finally get to try the Titan block ability, which also doubles as a parry. I love this parry move because it's like a classic parry. Instead of having to figure out at what point in the enemy's attack animation you have to attack him, I just have to parry right before the moment of impact, which is the way it should be. <laughs> but the addition of this parry parry move just totally changed the combat system for me. I already I was already in love with the combat, but 
This just makes it way better because I just, I absolutely love to parry in games like this. So now I got a dope ass perfect dodge and a perfect parry. So I'm really happy about that. Hopefully the next playthrough is more eventful, which, you know, judging by the history of history of this, it's going to be more eventful. <laughs> ups and downs, ups and downs. How it goes with Final Fantasy 16, it seems. But yeah, it's time for me to get my ass to bed. So please like this video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I appreciate you. Bye-bye. Uh,